Welcome class of 2026. For the first time in three years, UVA orientation is finally back on grounds to help the incoming first years transition to college. We spoke to Olivia Wilkinson, an orientation senior leader, who will be giving us a rundown of what orientation is like. Orientation is a two-day program, so you come in first on either a Monday or a Thursday, depending on your session date. They come in at 7.30, and then they have various time slots of when they start checking in. So generally, check-in goes to 9. They will get to live in one of four dorms. It'll either be Shannon, Balls Doby, Watson Webb, or Lyle Maupin. They'll come to that building, and that's where check-in and check-out will be. They'll get their university ID card that they'll use in the fall, and that will be their key. And so they'll stay with a roommate, generally, and that they'll stay that one night. They go to a welcome address at Old Cabell Hall. Following that, they get to do meet their orientation leader out on the lawn. So you kind of run out of Old Cabell and all the OLs will be there with their signs and it's super exciting. So are your orientees start to come to you? There you do like icebreakers, get to know each other, kind of get to know your orientation group. And then we go to lunch and then the afternoon is three different rotation type sessions. So they're kind of about student life. So one is at student health and wellness, another is 15 with the Career Center where they kind of talk about their resources. And the final is the state of Virginia has a new hazing protocol. So we have a hazing presentation that's also mandatory for all incoming new students. We go to dinner, there's IM UVA where some OLs share their stories and their UVA experience. And then we lead them in a bit of a debrief. We come back to dorms, there's a hall meeting, and then there's an opportunity and like event at the AFC. So that's all day one. Day two is the main highlight is course of Advising. But for College of Arts and Sciences advising, basically you have a two hour period. You come in at the beginning of that session. There are association deans who are there to help answer questions. Also pre-health advisors, which is super helpful for those who are looking to go into pre-health fields. And so they can kind of answer any of your questions as well as any of the orientation leaders. You come in with your orientation leader and your orientation group and you set at a table together and you have those two hours to enroll in any of your courses. There is different advising processes for engineering, nursing, kinesiology, and ed school, and architecture. So all of those kind of take place in different areas. Jessica Lang is an incoming first year who shared with us her experience on how the orientation leaders have prepared her for college. My leaders shared their IMUVA stories with us. Basically, the orientation leader would share their story. It could just be a, a sliver, a part of their story that they wanted to share that made them who they were. All the stories were so different in their own way, but the final phrase was, I am blank and I'm UVA. And so some people would be, I am passionate and I'm UVA. And they were very real and they were vulnerable. They answer all of our questions and they're very honest with us. They said things straight up, they talked to us like we were one of them. It was like, what do you want to know? I'm going to tell you everything I have to know and it was very transparent and it made coming here seem more manageable, <laughs> made me feel more comfortable and it was just very helpful to learn about someone else's experience. We asked Jessica and Olivia what advice they would give to an incoming first year who's about to attend orientation. Just cheesy as it sounds, be yourself, put your actual self out there because you wouldn't want someone, you wouldn't want to be friends with someone who doesn't like your actual self anyways. And it can be overwhelming meeting so many people all at once, but just reminding yourself that we're all different. Try to sit next to somebody new in orientation that maybe you haven't gotten to talk to. Like maybe if you sat with some group at lunch, maybe try a different group at dinner. Try to make as many connections with people as you can because I think it's really valuable to have those resources. 